Hi, I'm Kang Kai from COHK and I'm here to present our work on the object detection from video. Uh, this task was introduced in last year's uh, ImageNet detection. Uh, there are 30 classes uh, uh, from the video frames, uh, including multiple objects and multiple classes, and the main P is used for uh, the evaluation. Uh, so if we directly apply the still image detectors on the video data, there are usually two problems. Uh, the first is that it usually contains large uh, temporal variations because still image detectors uh, doesn't have any uh, temporal constraints. And the second is uh, usually contains very large spatial uh, variations. Uh, slightly changing the bounding belt locations will usually uh, result in a large uh, difference in the detection scores. Uh, so there are three uh, main contributions of our work. We propose a multi-stage framework for this task, uh, including the tubelet uh, proposal generation and uh, uh, classification and rescoring. Uh, and uh, we also propose a spatial max pooling process uh, to model the interaction between the de uh, still image detections and the tracking results uh, that largely reduce the spatial variations. And we also propose a, a temporal convolution network uh, to reduce uh, the temporal variations. So part of the technology contributes to uh, the winning framework of last year's image detection uh, challenge. Uh, we won the object detection from video uh, with provided data. So the provided uh, uh, proposed framework contains uh, four sub-steps, uh, still image detection, high confidence tracking, uh, spatial max pooling, and uh, uh, temporal convolution. Uh, the first two parts are the tubelet proposal. <coughs> And the second uh, two parts are the tubelet classification and the rescoring. So for high confidence tracking, uh, we first obtain the still image detections. And uh, from uh, some frames, we uh, select uh, the high confidence detections and we, uh, as the starting point for the tracking. Uh, we are using the deep neural network for uh, tracking. Uh, from these tracking results, we uh, select the, the still image uh, detections that has large overlaps with uh, the tubular boxes and only keeping uh, the detections with local maximum uh, detection scores. So the temporal convolution network is actually a full d convolutional uh, network, 1D, <coughs> uh, proposed, performed on the tubelet proposals. Uh, the input features are the object detection scores, the tracking results, uh, and also the distance to the starting point of the tracking. Uh, the TCN convolves these input features and generates uh, the probabilities of each classes for each uh, frame. So we evaluate our uh, framework on the ImageNet VID dataset. Uh, if we're directly using the steering image detections on the tracking results, we will only get 37% uh, uh, MAP. Uh, adding the spatial max pooling increased to 45, and adding the uh, temporal convolution uh, increased to 47. Uh, directly comparing this to the steering image detections, we get uh, uh, about 2.2% uh, increase. Uh, here are some <coughs> results visualizations. Uh, our framework uh, are be, be able to uh, detect uh, multiple frames, uh, multiple objects from multiple classes uh, individually because uh, the tracking and uh, temporal rescoring are performed uh, for each classes individually. Uh, for example, on the left uh, it detects the uh, uh, domestic attack, and uh, on the right it detects the uh, foxes. Uh, if you are interested in our work and uh, uh, the image night uh, VID uh, challenge in general, uh, you can visit us at the poster session. Uh, thank you.